Rugby, a game of power, skill, and speed. But it's not easy to earn a gold jersey. Australia's best have to start somewhere. For many, the journey starts here, at Sydney University Rugby Club. 100% this week. The oldest rugby club in Australia has achieved huge success. Not only has their first grade team won the last six New South Wales Premiership trophies, many of their players have gone on to play at the highest levels. This club for at least the past six or seven years has produced more professional rugby players than any club in the world. One of those players is veteran Wallaby and record-breaking Waratah captain Phil War. Despite hanging up his boots as a professional player, Bill continues to play with the club that launched his career at the age of 19. You know, with, with as much experience as I, I have, I think I've, you know, I've got a role to play in terms of bringing through young guys and uh, you know, I'm hoping that uh, you know, there's a lot of young kids here who will go on and, and represent uh, you know, their state or, or uh, you know, even better their, their country. Five uni players have been included in the Wallabies World Cup squad. Wonderful cameo appearances for the Wallabies this season. Barnes giving it to Deepa, almost through Mum. And 28 were contracted to Super Rugby teams this year. Geez, that's not a bad step for a beginner. Yeah, he's done well. I think uh, you know, for any young kid coming out of school and looking at uh, uh, playing uh, at the highest level, I think it's uh, it's a good experience for them to come along to, to University Football Club and, and train with guys who uh, who are playing for the Wallabies or are playing uh, provincial levels. As with any champion sporting team, their triumphs are founded by the men off the field as much as on it. One of the key factors, of course, has been the fact that the club has focused on um, employing uh, professional coaches, professional rugby coaches, and that has very largely been the basis of the club's success. Oh, Sammy! <laughs> Todd Loudon has coached some of the best teams in the world, but now he's back at uni to develop the elite training program he established in 2004. We train a little bit differently. We have a, a different, uh, I don't like using the word philosophy, but a different method of training uh, to that of, say, some of the super teams that I've been involved with. Um, but bottom line is, is they just train harder and smarter. The reason these players are better, faster and stronger is because Uni's developed its own brand of rugby. They call it physical imposition rugby. Fucking go to it. Yeah, props in. Let's go here. Crouch! Sit! Touch! Pause! Engage! The focus is on developing raw power and strength to grind down the opposition so that on game day, Uni can outmuscle and outlast their rivals. This unique style of physical domination has been championed by Sydney Uni veteran Bruce Ross. Rugby is the most strength oriented of the football codes and therefore there is a much greater need to develop uh, people's strength and power. Bruce has taken uni's training methods one step further by inventing his own weights machines specifically for conditioning rugby players. Uh, the scrum truck was developed in 2004, largely as a response to the what I saw as the very poor performance of the Australian scrum. Touch, pause, engage. 
<laughs> yeah, but then again, oh, what a surprise. We're in a position where we have a fairly elaborate gym set up and are able to employ professional strength and conditioning coaches. But when we spoke to uni's SNC coach, Tim Lay, he said it wasn't the emphasis on strength training that he loved most, it was the culture of the club. You know, the quality of guys here is pretty special. Um, you know, we've got senior players that are, that are willing to put in and are willing to bleed for the place and it's infectious. One of these players is Waratah Tom Carter, whose family have been at the club for 17 years. And, um, you know, it's like a second home really. I, I guess I've played with my best friends here and, uh, and met some really incredible people. And... Yeah, the culture, you, you can't quantify it. It's not something that you can just buy or what have you. It's actually the, about the people and the people that are involved. Wow. Uh, you yeah, know, all the friends that uh, obviously, friendships I've established here over, over many years, I think uh, you know, it's, it's almost becomes a way of life, uh, you know, the club and, and coming down here on Tuesday, Thursday nights and, and obviously uh, games on Saturday. Look, I've just, I've just really enjoyed the people I've met. And... Side. More than the training, it's this less tangible quality to the club that's helped to produce a generation of elite rugby players. Yeah.